It was the first superstation in the state when it opened almost a month ago, and it marked 100,000 doses given last week. News 8's Brandon Lewis explains some of the criticisms the governor is now facing almost a year into the pandemic. Now, Carlo and Marcella, the governor spoke very highly of the vaccination site here at Petco and the other super sites all across the county. But the reality is that they're operating at less than capacity. That's because of a continued supply shortage. The governor today gave a little bit of a hint at what we can expect over the next few weeks. Now you need 10 minutes to get in here, and then this is about 15, 20 minutes. Governor Gavin Newsom praised the work of San Diego County, setting up four vaccination superstations with a fifth set to open this week. San Diego, the first county, first city to put a site together like this. Success leaves clues. You inspired others all throughout the state of California. But while they're capable of giving more than 20,000 doses a day, the sites are running at about half capacity because of supply shortages. The state blames manufacturing delays and allocations from the federal government. We are sobered and mindful of the scarcity that is the number of available vaccines in the United States of America. Nonetheless, we are not naive about our responsibility here in the state of California to move these vaccines out of the freezers and into people's arms. There are three big changes to watch in the weeks ahead. This week, expect new guidelines for people with pre-existing conditions who were previously left out. Also, next Monday, we'll get details about a new contract with Blue Shield and Kaiser that will streamline where and when vaccines are coming. And third is a three-week supply outlook from the federal government. That should help make appointments more solid, but unfortunately, it also isn't pretty, with just about a million doses expected for all of California in the rest of the month. I would say nationwide that this is probably going to be a theme that we will see a number of people storing second doses um, to make sure that it's available there and the consistency of supply, the clarity on what's coming in the weeks to come is going to help us sort through this. County officials say that if we don't get more vaccines soon, there is a potential. They'll have to shut down some of these big superstation sites. They did, however, express optimism about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that is currently awaiting FDA approval. That's expected to happen by the end of the month, and if it does, it would have a significant impact on distribution.